¿Qué pasa, my brethren and sisters out there? How are you? This is your brother, King Simon, the Afro-Cubano, Jamaican, my friend. And I'm going to teach you about numerovation. You have to say numerovation and roll it, you know, it's numero, it's numerovation, where you put together numerology and motivation together and you get numerovation. So it has to flow with your mouth. So I created this system only to give a, a fighting chance for many of our brothers out there that needs to understand their numbers from a very metaphysical and motivational point of view. Because a lot of people don't understand that, you know, yes, people love to get readings and all of that. And readings is good because some people need to be read. But what are you going to do to activate your numbers, so to speak? What is the importance of knowing the importance of the positive and the negative of the numbers if you're not willing to activate it? Like, for instance, you could be born under the number one. And the number one, according to many numerologists, the number of, is the number of creativity, the number of self-awareness, the number of willpower, unique vision, forcefulness, individualism, and leadership and independence. So if you don't learn to activate that because you want to hide it, how can it be helpful to you, my brothers and sisters? And then you got people that's born under the number two. And two is that number of intuition, connection, uh, communication, uh, understanding, sharing, meditation, love, peace, uh, patience, diplomacy, and consideration, and also known as the peacemaker, the intentions to detail, paying attention to detail. So if you learn to activate each of these numbers, and believe me, family, the multitudes of numbers come in and out of your chart. See, numbers are like this. Let me erase what I have here. Numbers are like this. Numbers are like waves. And these waves go throughout your chart, too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's say zero. Let's add zero to it. But these numbers come through waves. They're like waves in your chart. So numbers come through our chart all the time. It goes each and every number come through your charts all the time because we even go through the time of one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We go through the twelve o'clock. We go to, of course, the days. It goes through our lives in the days from the first all the way to the thirty-first, and it goes through our life in years and even, of course, the months that we're in. Because January is the first, February is the second. Of course, March is the third, April is the fourth, so on and so forth. So once you understand the dynamics of each of these numbers, you're able to put it in its proper perspective and use it to your benefit. And that's why I do numerovation. Numerovation. And if you go to the Urban Dictionary, you'll see numerovation and its meaning, of course, is invented by your brother, King Simon. So numerovating you to understand your numbers and why it's important to understand at least the key meanings to each number, where you know that number one is creativity. So you stay on that level and rise higher and study in all the different aspects of creativity. You know number two is the intuition number. So you study all aspects of being intuitive. Or you know that uh, the number three is the number of entertaining self-expression or creativity also, but it's also the number of writing and expressing yourself. So you try to stay motivated on that higher level of all all that. And then you know the number four is the self-discipline number, the practicality number, and those type of numbers, and the concentration number. So you try to stay high on those numbers. And then you know that five is the expansion number, the deal with change and sensitivity and freedom. So you try to stay on those levels, but you try to stay on the positive of those levels. Then you know the number six is the sociable number, the family number, the group number. It's all good. And then you know the seven is what we call the intellectual, spiritual force, scientific number, the wise one. And then Eight, we know is the money number. Yes, money and finance are good for you. Money and finance is good for you. Yes, material accomplishment and multiple levels of it. And then we know that the number nine is the humanitarian number on one side, the selfless number and the selfless service on one side, but also can be the warring number the military number on the other side. And then when we go to numbers like the 11 and the 22, I'm sorry, the 22, 
very important to realize because 11 is that revelatory number, the idealistic number, the one that has a vision for what they want to do and how they want to do. So they have to stay on a visionary le le uh, level. But also the 22 is a visionary number, but it is a practical, idealistic master number of vision and how to lay the foundation. So once you understand the different meanings, it can help guide you to take you to be your very best in whatever you want to do. That's why I do numerovation and I don't just do numerology because the word numerology only means the study of numbers and how it applies to you or how is it connected to your personality, your characteristics and different things. But when you do numerovation family, it's a different outcome. It's a different motivation. It's a different understanding because numerovation helps. It's good for the nation because we're here to mentally stimulate you to understand that the numbers connected to your birthday and your name is very important and why you need to use it. Mm, I love it. And then, of course, in numerology, I, in my system of numer numerovation, I also include the 10, the 20, and the 30 as potential master numbers. Why? Because the zero adds potentiality to each and every number that it proceeds. So if this is a creative number, it adds more dimension and potentiality. If it's an intuitive number, it adds more dimension and, and potentiality. And if this is a creative and expressive number, then that adds more potential and cre uh, potentiality to all the numbers that it proceeds. Thus, that's why in the binary code, we got the zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, one. That's what made the computer technology known and its potential and its great potential, exponentially uh, powerful number in whatever it does. So we got to pay attention to these zeros when they pop up in the charts. Pay attention to the zero. And I don't mean zeros because you decide to say, okay, I'm born January 1st, so that's one. And then the second day is zero two. I'm not talking about that. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the 10, the 20, 30, the 40 might come up in a name. The 50 might come up in a name. But as far as the dates are concerned, 10, 20, and 30 are the primary dates that I look at as master number potential. So those people that are born under the 10, 20, or 30th, like Brother Polite, born on the, the uh, uh, Boyce Watkins, born on the 20th. Uh, Brother Polite born on the 10th, Boyce Watkins born on the 20th, people like uh, Young Pharaoh born on the 30th. Pay attention. You see their master potentiality and you see them rise into master abilities and accomplishing great things because the zero adds mastery into whatever they do and however they do it as long as they stay focused on what they have to do. And Rihanna is born on the 20th. Mm, think about that. Wow. Isn't that powerful? So, hey, this is just a little something just to show you what we got coming up. Don't forget tonight, 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 family, tonight on Wednesday. Well, not tonight on Wednesday. I'm sorry. Wednesday, April the 29th. April the 29th on YouTube at King Simon Presents. I will be doing a Q&A, numerovation Q&A for those that come in and link up with me. And you want to, you got to show your face because we're going to be on stream, y'all. So I'm going to share the link and you'll be able to come on and talk to me for a minute or two. And we'll talk about your numbers and how to help manifest it or take it to the next level to help give you better guidance for yourself, for your family, whoever you want to ask about, your children, your girlfriend. If you know that somebody is down and out and they need a little motivation, look, I will have my books. I have all kinds of books out here that day. I'll make sure I'll get them from different perspectives so you can understand from different perspectives because it's about the interpretation. And then it's about staying motivated on the interpretation and keeping motivated. Remember, this is a process. It is not an event. So remember, it takes time to develop the motivational spirit to be your very best. Believe me, you're talking to somebody who almost hurt himself three times in his life. And I'm here to talk to you and help you now, even during the times of the so-called 2020 event, which is the number of awareness, clear vision, and staying focused. Also, number two is a help number. So we're in a help. Four is also a help number, but we have to stay clear in our vision and be careful of the delusions and the illusions that they try to come at us from every angle through media because the number four 
is a media number. It's a technological number. It's a television number. So they're using television and media to catch us out there when 22 in that whole 2020 is about the illusion and delusion. So, hey, let's pay attention. Let's stay focused. Let's stay motivated. Let's keep our minds at a higher level. Let's stay numerovated or have numerovation in our nation to rock our nation so we can take ourselves to the next level. So I'm with all of that, family. So this is your brother, King Simon, in the building, getting out of here, honoring my ancestors on multiple ways. And I'm going to show love on the 29th of April on Wednesday. I'm going to stay on for at least an hour to two hours. And we're going to just talk to people and see how we can help motivate, how numbers is help, how the angel numbers, how the, the master numbers help you, how the, how, how the 10, 20, and 30 can help you, or the 40, 50, or 60. Those are master number potential in my system of numerovation. So, hey, family, I love you. I respect you. And this has been your brother, King Simon. Remember, my website is kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. By Instagram is King Simon Production or Numerovata or Numerovation. That's the, no, no. It's Numeroversity at IG and King Simon Production at IG. And don't forget, if you want to be a Twitter friend, make sure you hit me up on Twitter at King Simon Prod. That's King Simon Prod at Twitter. And Facebook, go to my King Simon Productions public page. That's right. King Simon Productions public page or anything that sees King Simon. You see my face on it? That's my page also on Facebook. Also, MC Simon, King Simon. And um, let me see a whole lot of things up there. I got a whole lot. I got Spirit Guide is one of my pages. Um, yeah. King Simon and Family in Production. Jebsner Network is my uh, my page also. So if you want to part, uh, participate in any of those. But remember, I'm bringing the books on Wednesday. I'm bringing different styles of numerology, different systems that all equate and connect to each other in multiple ways and multiple fashion. And so we can keep y'all motivated. If you start, if you're seeing a lot of numbers and seeing sequences of numbers like 444 or 111 or 222 or 1111, that's, yes, they have low level energy. They have high level energy, they have constructive energy, they have obstructive energy, they have destructive energy, or you can be complacent. Again, it's totally up to you. Have a great day, afternoon, or evening, and I hope to see you on Wednesday, April the 29th at 9 p.m. on King Simon Presents. That's King Simon Presents on YouTube. And, um, Hey, I'll be teaching classes soon because, and if everybody, if people want to learn the basics of numerology, please get my, one of my teacher's books. Uh, this is Lloyd Strayhorn, my good brother, Lloyd Strayhorn. This is his book and go to Udemy.com. Let me show y'all where we at with that. You've got to go to Udemy.com if you want to learn his classes. His basic classes is on Udemy. Uh, com, and it's called Learn from Lloyd. It's called Learn from Lloyd. My classes is going to be numerovation and I'm going to take it up a notch because I'm, I created a BAP method. The BAP method is seeing beyond the numbers, the B, again, beyond the numbers, around the numbers, and looking at the trajectory of the numbers, and then hearing and listening to numbers. What makes you turn around in your spirit and say, Damn, I just seen 444. And all of a sudden you turn around to the right or the left or you look at a clock or, or you see all these multiple numbers. What? Why is that happening at that period of time? So that's what my classes are going to be about. We're going to get into the multitude of different numbers and the holistic perspective of numbers. Why the master number shows up at a certain time why you need to pay attention and what other levels you need to go. Who are some of the, the master teachers out there that you need to go? One person I do recommend highly, I've been checking him out, I've been checking him out for many years now, but I do respect what Sri Master Gano Grills is doing, especially he talks about what he does as far as helping you find your divine parents and your spirit guides. That's very important. I've, I've been recognizing that is very important. So I'm open to guide people to there. I respect what people like Ra Aku is doing. If you want, don't want to do numerology, you can do astrology, but do cosmophysics or do astrology from a menial level. But when you want to get advanced, Ra Aku is the man for that advancement. If you want to get deeply spiritual, 
Stream Master Gano Grills is that man. If you want to get into cardiology, my beautiful sister Aquarius Maxim is that woman. If you want to get into gematria, then Blue Pill is that brother with the 4444 or the 44. That's what his granddaddy taught him, and that's what it is in his whole birth movement. That's what it's all about. And there's many more people out there. There's people like I've worked with, of course, Lloyd Strayhorn. I just told you, go to Udemy and take his basic class. But we are the rising stars coming out from the elders. That's why we must honor our ancestors because we stand on top of our ancestors' shoulders to be our very best and walk at our highest and elevate to our highest. Remember, these systems and these modalities don't control you. They're here to guide you and show you and give you things that can give you alignment to where you need to go and how you need to connect. Your ancestors are always talking to you. The universe is always talking to you. Your creator is always talking to you. And numerovation is always talking to you, my friend. Look, I'm out of here. I love you. I respect you. Stay focused. Stay out of trouble. Keep your mind at a higher level during this uh, time that we're going, this reset that we're going through. And um, love yourself, love your family, and forgive. Forgiveness is the highest form of healing. Heal. Forgive, let go, and grow. Forgive, let go, and grow. You don't have to kiss nobody's backside. You don't have to kumbaya with anybody. Just forgive, let go, and grow. It's for the benefit of your rise to be your very best. Unconditional love. Big up to people like Billy Carson that talks about unconditional love. Very important. Unconditional love. All right? Thank you all very much. I love you. Hotep, shalom, peace, assalamu alaikum, ayri to all the Caribbean people, and Islam to all the Moors out there. Take care. Peace. King Simon is out.